Hi guys and welcome to this lesson and today we're going to be looking at SIRDS and this is going to be combined with other videos that will give you a complete overview of the topic and this specific video is the introduction. Now to start with let's look at what is a SIRD. A SIRD is a root number that when simplified does not become an integer and we should remember that an integer is a whole number that is either positive or negative. So, like I said before, a third is a root number that can't be simplified into an integer. So let's look at a few examples of what they are. Now, I'm going to show you a list and some of them are third, some of them aren't. So let's do this, for example, root 16, root 4, and root 25. Now, we know that these actually aren't thirds, and this is because root 16 is equal to 4, which is an integer. Root 4 is equal to 2, and root 25 is equal to 5. Now, let me show you some examples of thirds root 3, root 2, and root 10. We know that these are thirds because when put into your calculator, for root 3, you get 1.732, so on and so on and so on. For root 2, you get 1.414. For root 10, you get 3.162, so on and so on. These are thirds because these numbers here are not an integer. So we can label these as not thirds. And we label these as thirds. Now, to do with thirds, there are a few rules that we need to know about. And those rules help you use those thirds in equations and in other ways. So, let me start with showing you the laws of thirds. There are two main laws that you need to remember and know when it comes to thirds. The first law is root A times root B equals root AB. And this can also be used backwards, so you can simplify it a third by using the equation root a b becomes root a root b times. Now the second law that you need to know is root a divided by root b gives you, similar to this, root a over b. And again, just like before, this can be used backwards. Root a over b is equal to root a divided by root b. Now, thank you for watching this video. This was a very quick overview of what thirds are, and I hope you understand exactly what they are. I'll be going into more depth on this law and this law, and I'll also be looking at adding and taking away, simplifying, and rationalising the denominator. Thanks for watching, and enjoy your day.